first thing you have to remember is oil rig. So oil rig lets you understand what's happening in terms of electrons and use the right keywords. So oil rig simply stands for oxidation is loss, reduction is gain. And it's very confusing that reduction means gaining electrons, but that's just the way that chemistry works. And so you need to use this to make sure you don't get muddled up. So take a note of oil rig and memorize it and use it consistently, and that'll stop you getting muddled up. So let's start by looking at an example. So we've got the negative electrode, and we've got these positive hydrogen ions that are being attracted to our negative electrode. And that makes sense. The positive charge is being attracted to the negative, negative, positive attraction. Makes sense. So what you see happening at this electrode during electrolysis is that the H plus turns into hydrogen gas, which you would get hydrogen gas bubbling at that electrode. However, when you look at the equation, there's something very strange. We've got H plus, so a hydrogen ion, turning into two hydrogen atoms. So one hydrogen is becoming two. Well, that's not possible. You can't just create hydrogens out of nowhere. So the first step in writing the half equation is to balance it. So we're going to have a two there. So we've now got two hydrogens on one side and two hydrogens on the other side of the equation. So it's now balanced. The next step is we need to balance the charges. And we've got two positives on one side, and we've got no charge on the other side. We've got these things called electrons, however, and they're negative. And I'm going to show you how you can add those in to make it balance. So we've got two positive charges here, two negative charges here. So plus two, plus two negative charges cancel out to give us zero charge on this side. And then on this side, we've also got zero. So we've now balanced the charge. And whenever you're doing these questions, you're going to follow a simple procedure. You're going to balance the symbols, and then you're going to balance the charges. And that will give you the half equation. And so what is actually going on here? To understand this, we go back to oil rigs. So oxidation is loss and reduction is gain. Well, in this case, the H plus ion is gaining electrons so we've got reduction so we would say that h plus or the hydrogen ion is being reduced and so here's one basic example of this and in order to really understand this you need to do a few examples so it can get slightly more difficult so let's look at another example so we've got uh, the positive electrode this time so things are going to be a bit different and we've got the negative fluorine being attracted to this positive and so what we're seeing similarly is that the negative fluorine ion is turning into fluorine gas. Fluorine is a diatomic molecule. That's why we have F2. Again, not balanced. So our first step is we need to balance it. So we put a 2 there. It's now balanced in terms of the numbers of the symbols. However, the charges aren't balanced. On the left, we have two negatives. And on the other side, we don't have any charge. So we need to have the same on both sides. And we can do that by adding two electrons on the other side. So it's different to the last one. But you see what we've done. We've got two negatives on one side, and we've got two negatives on the other side. So the charge is balanced. Now let's go back to oil rig. So we've got oxidation is loss, reduction is gain. So this fluorine used to be negative because it had. Um, an extra electron, it's now given up that electron, and because we've got two F negative, we've had two electrons being given up. So in this case, we've got loss. So you could say that F negative, the negative fluorine ion, is being oxidized. So we've looked at two examples. We're now going to do another example where we put the two of them together and do a more sort of exam level question. So we're going to write the half equations for the electrolysis of molten magnesium chloride. So we have magnesium chloride, and it's going to be molten. So let's see how it will split up in terms of ions. So the magnesium is going to become Mg2+, because magnesium is in group 2 of the periodic table. And then we're going to get Cl negative, because chlorine is in group 7. And when we think about the basic structure of the ionic equations that are going to happen at the electrodes, the Mg2 plus is going to turn back into magnesium and the Cl is going to turn back into 
um, chlorine. So we've got the ions going to atoms, which is what happens at the electrodes. We then need to balance the charges. So if we look at the magnesium, we've got two positives on this side. We've got nothing on the other side. So like the first example, we have to add two electrons and it is now balanced. On the other equation, we have the problem of the symbols not being balanced. So you always start by balancing the symbols. So we need to add in a two. The symbols are now balanced. However, we have two negatives on this side nothing on this side so we need to add two electrons and our equation is now balanced so hopefully at the end of this video you're now confident in writing half equations feel free to rewind it and look through the examples again if you miss something and finally thank you very much for watching